Tomorrow, meet the tennis star who's taken up arms against Putin. He joins us from the front line. Plus, today's Dr Nick Coates' work on the surge of heart health inquiries. A warning's tragic passing could save countless others. See you from 5.30. To finance and the share market has closed up, hitting its highest level in more than a week. The S&P ASX index rose 85.8 points and the Australian dollar is fetching 72 US cents. Here's Amber. It was a partly cloudy day across Sydney with a few light showers and light southeasterly winds. We saw one to six millimetres of rain across parts of the Sydney basin, but some suburbs remain dry. Penrith was one of the warmest places, reaching 28 degrees. 25 the top in Kellyville, Blacktown and Liverpool. 23 degrees in Terry Hills and Cronulla and a top of 24 in the city. We saw a few light showers along the New South Wales coast today. Three millimetres falling in Kempsey and Nora Head, while storms in the west brought more than 260,000 lightning strikes, as well as 17 millimetres of rain to Wilcannia and 11 millimetres to Ivanhoe. We saw tops of 25 degrees in Newcastle and Bathurst, 27 in Griffith, Mudgee and Grafton, a warm 35 in Burke. Tomorrow, Tross will bring a few showers to parts of New South Wales, Victoria and eastern South Australia. We're heading for a top of 28 in Brisbane, mostly cloudy in Canberra, 27, a possible shower in Melbourne, 27 degrees, warm in Adelaide, 33 and staying dry in Perth, 27 degrees. We're expecting rain and possible storms across large parts of western New South Wales once again tomorrow with 5 to 25 millimetres. The heaviest falls will be in that northwest corner with a few light showers expected along the coast. Temperatures ranging from 23 in Bathurst and Wollongong to 26 in Mudgee, Newcastle and Coffs Harbour, 29 degrees in Dubbo and Griffith. After morning fog in the west, Sydney will be partly cloudy tomorrow. There is a 60% chance of showers and light southeasterly winds, but we are expecting less than a millimetre of rain, if anything, across the Sydney Bay and just like today, some suburbs will remain dry. It will be a little cooler, heading for tops of just 25 degrees across our western suburbs. 23 the top for Terry Hills, 24 in Cronulla and 25 for Gosford and for the city. Looking ahead, a few showers on Wednesday. Then Thursday and Friday should be mostly dry, tops of 26 to 27 degrees. Saturday looking like our wettest day at this stage before it dries out again on Sunday. We're looking at overnight lows of 19 to 20 degrees. In our west, a few light showers on Wednesday and Thursday warming up to 29 degrees by Friday then just a few showers on Saturday 26 Sunday and Monday are finally looking warm and dry tops of 28 to 30 degrees and nights will warm up a little from 16 tonight to 19 degrees by the weekend Georgie good on you Amber thank you and that is nine news for this Monday Tracy's up next with the current affair I'm Georgie Gardner thanks for being with us enjoy your evening good night